Hello, I'm the Artsy Crafter. Today I want to show you how to create Jesus is Born pop-up manger. So I have for you today one of the options. I give you in the file three different options for covers, six different options for the inside, and then another two options for one of the pop-ups. So the cover I chose today for Jesus is Born is the little drummer boy, and there's a writing activity on the back. And when you pop it open, you have the pop-up manger. And like I said, two more options for this pop-up, six options for the base template. So I hope you love it. Stay tuned, and I'll show you how to create Jesus is Born, the pop-up manger. Okay, I think we're ready to begin putting together our Jesus is Born pop-up manger. So let's talk first about the pieces that you will require. First off, you'll need a base template. I gave you six options to choose from, and I just have two here on my table to show you. And you'll need a front cover, back cover. I gave you three options, and you'll need a pop-up. I gave you two options. So once you have everything chosen, what I want you to do is as follows. First off, color everything that you're going to require. Okay, secondly, complete any of the writing activities. And if you want to add anything to any of the pages, do that. And the third thing you're going to do is cut out the pop-up that you've chosen. And you can see from mine, I left all kinds of white space around the outside of it. Don't think you have to go right to the edges. Okay, so come on back when you have those three things done. Okay, you're back. So it must mean you've colored everything, you've completed the writing activity, and you have your pop-out ready. So what we're going to start with is the cover. This is the front. So all you're going to do in this next step is to fold your cover in half lining up your edges perfectly. And you can set it aside. And then do the exact same thing with your base template. I want you to fold it in half this way, again making sure all your edges are lined up. Come on back when you have that done. Okay, you've folded the base template in half, and you'll notice that these two lines fall very close to that fold. Now we're going to make our cut. So I want you to close that again and turn it over so that you can very clearly see those lines. If you're working on this side, you can hardly see them. Take your scissors and cut close to the handle rather than the tip. You'll be more accurate. And all I want you to do is cut those two lines and try to stop just as closely to the end of the line as you can. And then fold it up and crease that edge and turn your page over and fold it up the other way and crease that edge and then you can push it back down. Come on back when you have that done. Okay, now we're going to cut the outer edge of the manger. So we're going to cut right from this point all the way up to this point here on both sides. So from this point here to this point. Now the way we do that, again close it, and on this side again I can very clearly see the footing of that pole. So on the outside edge, I want you to cut right to the edge. So basically where the pole meets the straw, okay? And when you open it up, let me show you, you can see right there where the slice mark is. Because what you're going to do then is put your scissors in there and continue cutting up all the way. You're going to have to maneuver your paper a little bit. and right through that brace there, okay? Cutting up to the top. And the same thing on this side, put your scissors in there and 
cut all the way to the top. Maneuvering your scissors once again. So that you have the outer edge of the manger cut out. Come on back when you have that done. Okay, and this next step, what we're going to do is try and get rid of that fold mark that we have right here. Just put your fingers on the back of the page and maybe with the tip of your finger or your fingernail, just try and pop that crease mark back out that way. Okay, now we're going to make three folds at the top of the manger here and here and the bottom of the poles. Okay, so let's start at the top. So with this one, it's going to get folded um, so that that side is a mountain fold from the back side. So look at the line and what we're going to do is make a mountain fold. So pinch it once in the middle and maybe on the other end and then run your fingers all the way across and crease that line really well so that when you turn it over, you can see that that'll, that's what's going to pop up our manger. Next fold is on this side, and it is a mountain fold. So again, what I do, pinch it once in the middle, and then pinch it once on one of the sides, and then that's your second fold done. Okay? And you can see that's really starting to take shape. And then finally, it's the bottom. So I help it stand up a little bit and I find that fold mark. And then I'm just going to go to the back side and pinch on either pole. And you know what, for now you don't even have to fold that line. So just pinch on the base of either of those poles. And come on back when you have that done. And then I'll show you how to put this part together very accurately. Okay, in order to do this really accurately, we're going to close this, okay? Help it the first time. So this part needs to come up, all right? So see how it kind of pulls on that? Let's not worry about that. So pull that and then I hold on to it. And I line up my edges. over here. I'll pull that forward so you can see that edge is lined up also. Okay, and that's where the top of the manger is. And then with my hands I just slide that down and I let that crease come naturally. And that's how you're going to get a really nice flat product. And then I recrease all of my edges and here as well. So do you see how nice and flat that is? Okay, and you can recrease any of your other folds that you made. Now, we still have to deal with this little pop-up. So open up and look at that. That manger now pops out absolutely beautifully. Let's do this pop-out now. Just push from the back end, grab it with your other hand and give that edge there a little pinch and then bring it forward and recrease all the edges now again. Okay, so when you have everything nice and flat and your two pop-outs sticking out properly, come on back and bring your glue and the front cover because we're going to put this now into the cover. Okay, the front cover I chose today is the little drummer boy. So what you're going to do is put your insert inside your cover. And then check to make sure everything is still popped out, okay? So line that up, sit that down nice and flat, and then take your glue and open this carefully now. And we're going to put glue onto this. 
starting with the four corners. So one, two, three, and four. And here, but not on this pop-up part. So a little bit of glue on the edges. And then I can put a little bit of glue here between the manger and that other little pop-up. And then close the front cover so that's still sat perfectly. And with your hands, just make sure everything's nice and flat. And turn it over. And let's do the same thing. Oops, my pop-up got caught there. Let's do the same thing here on this side. So starting with the four corners. One, two, three, and four. Okay, between the manger and the other pop-up. The top here and on the edges and then close the back cover and again recreasing everything open it up take a quick look look at that it's perfect okay now all you have left to do is put your little pop up here i chose one of the wise men so what I'm going to do is just put some glue on this section right here. And put him in place. And then you can close it up again, recreasing where you just put that pop up. And look at that, you're finished. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I hope this helps make Christmas just a little more magical this year. Enjoy this craft and have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you again soon.